Hello everybody, it is I, Young Strategist Gaming here today, and I am bringing you guys a brand new series of build tutorials that I'm going to call Tutorial City. Uh, the reason why I call it that is because when I'm done with all the build tutorials, hopefully all the builds will fit together into one giant city. Most of these builds will be medieval themed, and so I'm going to start off with this one build here for this tutorial. And then in the comments, you guys put what build you want me to make next. And then I'm going to create that building along this blue road. And I'll eventually extend it and build a bunch more buildings. And then I'll build some city walls and stuff. And then we'll have a huge medieval city that looks just absolutely beautiful. Especially with my shaders on. So make sure you stay tuned if you want to see any more build tips. Because I'm going to be working on this series quite a bit. So, today is the first build, and that is going to be the Medieval Tavern. So let's get right on into it. A couple things that I'd like to note about building is that, one, this is not an exact tutorial. You don't have to build this exact thing to make it look nice. As long as you build, like, using some of these tips and using it as inspiration, hopefully your build will look pretty good. Because if you just use this as inspiration and take some of the tips from it and apply it to your current builds, it may make the difference to make your builds look a lot better. And the second thing is that I'm going to be building this without shaders on. I'll turn them on at the very end so that you guys have a nice uh, thing to look at, like a nice build to see, and also so that I have a good thumbnail. But most of the time, you're probably not going to be running with shaders Especially on like a server when other people might not and you want to show off your cool build You want to make sure that it looks good for everyone no matter what texture pack or shaders they're using So make sure that it looks good in normal vanilla minecraft Anyways, the first tip that you're gonna want to do to make your taverns or just any build that has a framework look better Is to build a wooden framework out of logs now, right now, I'm not actually going to build the whole framework. I'm just going to build the first block to show you guys uh, what it should look like. You should put the logs or pillars, uh, whatever you're using for your framework, on the very corners of different segments of your build so that it looks like it's supported by those wooden logs. It adds a lot of depth, detail, and just makes it look nice in general. Now, what you're going to want to do is lay a decent foundation. Now, typically, you'd want to do this with, like, bricks, cobblestone, or stone bricks, so that it looks like it has a sturdy foundation. You can also do this with logs, wooden planks, and other, like, sturdy blocks that make sense as a building material. You don't want to have any dirt showing or anything, so make sure that you have a solid-looking base. I'm going to use stone bricks for the purpose of this tutorial, but just use anything that looks nice and that you have access to. If you're in survival, sometimes you're not going to have all of these blocks that I have in creative mode. And so then you can improvise. For example, instead of using the spruce logs that I have here, say you're in an oak pile. You can use oak logs. Just make sure that it blends in nicely with the rest of the materials you're using. The next step is to finish up the framework. So you want to make sure that the frame, first of all, matches with the blocks you have. So. These stone bricks look pretty good with this uh, spruce log as the frame, so I'm going to use these. Now, you're going to want to find the height that you want. I'm going to have my build be four blocks tall for the first floor, and so it should be pretty tall. If you want, you can also make it taller. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make mine a block taller as well, because I might actually have some like chandeliers or lamps hanging from the ceiling. And that's one of the things that you want to make sure that you uh, know about. You want to accommodate for anything that you're going to be putting inside of your build. Alright guys, so now what you're going to want to do, after you've made this decent wooden framework that looks kind of sturdy, you're going to want to put some filler blocks to fill in the walls. Now, you might be asking like, oh, where's the windows? Where's this and that? Uh, we're going to do that later when we detail it. But right now, what you want to have is just a wooden box with a framework because that's just what the build is going to be for now that's just what it's supposed to look like and then you add the details onto it once you find out what the relative shape of the build is 
All right, guys. Now that I finished the walls of the first floor, um, also by the way, I also put in this staircase to the second floor. Um, now we're gonna start putting in some flooring. Now, seeing as the stairs are dark oak, and dark oak blends pretty well with uh, stone brick, I'm gonna use dark oak for the floor because it's a nice dark hardwood floor, and I mean that's kind of nice, right? So, we're just going to get some dark oak. Now that I've finished doing the flooring, and I've actually taken out the counter, I am going to start making the counter. Now, this isn't, like, fully detailing. I'm not going to make this place look awesome immediately, but I am going to put in a nice dark oak counter, and just make the place look nice. Because this counter, after all, since it's a tavern, is where they're going to serve the alcohol, like ale, and also like the food as well. If you've stopped by in this medieval city, say, show up, you're going to want to have a drink. And then, upstairs is where we're going to make all the bedrooms. Alright guys, I finished the basics of the little bar here behind the tavern, as well as making a little cellar. And now we're going to do the second story where... Uh, exhausted travelers will be able to rest and sleep. Now, before you guys, like, correct me in the comments or anything, I am aware that usually it would be considered an inn if it had, like, uh, an upstairs where people could sleep. But I'm just gonna call it a tavern, because, I don't know, that's what I did at the start of the video. It's basically a tavern. But we're just going to add some rooms in the top anyways. So it can be, uh, because they're very similar things. So you can uh, make it like a tavern slash inn if you want. But yeah. Now we're going to start working on the second floor. Alright guys. So now I've started work on the second floor. And something you might notice is that it extends out from the actual base of the um the foundations and that is actually fine so this is what it's supposed to be doing because i've seen a lot of like medieval buildings and concept designs and they're very cool and in most of them the actual the top of like taverns is actually like protruding out a little bit i'm not sure why that is and i'm not gonna do any research on it right now but it just looks pretty cool in general and I like the smooth sandstone because it looks kind of like some sort of like whitewashed walls that they would have back in medieval times because it's kind of rough and dirty, but it looks pretty good. And uh, for taverns, uh, if you're doing like a, a second floor, oh, especially for like inns and taverns, uh, I'd recommend using lighter blocks for the second uh, base of the wall. So like... Um, Sandstone, for example, is very nice. The smooth type, not the crumpled type. Because smooth sandstone kind of just looks... Well, I already explained it. It looks like some whitewashed walls, and it's kind of nice. So, that's what I'm going to be doing uh, using these. As you can see, it blends in quite well. And obviously, right now, it's not done. I am going to do some more details that make it look quite cool. So, make sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, closer to the end of the tutorial. Since it looks nice to have the pillars protruding out one block from the actual wall, that's what I did for this second layer. I added some stairs to the normal pillars and extended them out by one block to give it more depth, and it looks quite good. This also makes it look like these walls could actually be supported instead of them just sticking out randomly. So, it's a very nice detail. So if you're doing a multi-story building and decide to have your second floor wall stick out a little bit, make sure to extend the pillars accordingly to make sure that it fits in and looks like it actually would be pretty sturdy. Now that I've finished the basic walls of the second floor, you might notice something kind of weird. How this wall is still oak, but then this wall is the sandstone. I just did this because, one, I didn't want, like, a random area from the wall just sitting here. And also because the wooden planks look really nice for the interior, and the, the whitewashed parts are just for the outer wall. And so, you may also notice that the rooms are different sizes. 
that's just to fit them inside of the general area inside of this uh, place. But I think I managed it pretty well, hopefully. And so, um, yeah, once I do the detailing and the interiors, these rooms are all going to look very nice. And then I'll put a roof over it, and then we'll have a working... Well, I wouldn't say working, because there's no, like, mechanical components, but we'd have a nice-looking tavern, which is the whole point. What? Oh, that is off. Okay, wait, I'm gonna fix that. Boom, fixed. Alright. So, yeah, it looks very nice already. Now, we're gonna put the roof on it. Now, depending on the shape of your building, your roof will vary. For example, if it's just a square, you can just do uh, stairs along this side, stairs along this side, and then meet it up in the middle if you're just a square and don't actually have this part. If you have a part like this, then it may get a little more complicated. What you'd do is you'd have this one long side extend all the way along the wall, and then you'd have two different segments. One segment here, and one segment there. This segment links up to here, here. This one right here, since it's longer and wider, it will go actually a bit, little bit taller, but it will also match up and be part of the same roof. It's a little complicated. Now, also, if you're making a roof, you're going to want to line it with stone on the edges. Instead of just making it a flat color, you want to add some details to it. So make sure that the front uh, rim, or just the, I guess the rim of the roof on any side, uh, make sure that it has this. On the top, you might also want to line it with these stone brick slabs. One more thing before I finish making the roof is that I want to show you how this is kind of just like a flat shape, right? And so even though it extends out, this wall is very flat and boring, and although these pillars are here, it's not a very good divider between the two different colors. So what you're gonna wanna do is put some stairs and slabs to make it have more of a visible barrier and also look like it's supported by a stronger frame because you can see the small difference in depth that makes. It's very nice. If you really want to make it look amazing, uh, you could also line it with these fences here and then uh, just put the slabs on top without these stairs. Or you can just have it like this. This is actually still quite beautiful, so I'm gonna keep it like that. And yeah, now I'm going to show you what the actual roof looks like. All right, guys, now you're gonna see the frame of the second part of the roof. As you can see, it starts off the second segment using the same tip for this, using the, uh, the stone lining of the roof. As it meets this part of the roof, however, it matches up with this line and then stops. And then it just goes back to wood. Because from this side, it just looks like a flat roof. You want to keep it just wood. If you have like a random stripe going down, it's going to look awkward. So have it meet up here with the top line. And so this top line is just what's going to keep uh, the, the roof looking connected and make it one cohesive unit. And it looks a lot nice a lot nice it, it looks very nice like this it has the double roof and it's quite nice to look at so yep this is the second part of the roof and now we're just gonna finish that up and i'll show you the result all right everybody i just finished the roof and this thing is starting to shape up this building looks real nice as you may have noticed i have also been working on this part as an attachment to the building and i haven't really shown it much but this is where the horses will be kept, because as any inn or tavern should, especially during the medieval times, it would have had a little small stables where if you were coming to stay at the tavern or inn or whatever, then you would want to put your horse in here so that they weren't exposed to the elements and that people wouldn't be able to steal them. So that's why I've been making that attachment. As you can see though, everything's very dark, but the interiors are quite open. Meaning, it's time to get detailing. First, the first thing we want to detail is the area where you first walk into the store. Now, this is the counter, this is where you're going to talk to people, and this is where you're going to want to have some light. So, I'll put a couple lamps. These are kind of offset. I'll just... No, I'll put one right here. So, yeah, we got some nice lamps up here. Put one there. And then, let's see. Yep. 
Yeah, this is some nice lamp placement, and then we'll do some over here as well. And there. We already have all of, our, all of our lamps set up. Now, this is real nice already. Now, what we're going to do is do some lighting up here. So, we're going to put a couple lamps. That's kind of close, but it's all right. So, we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Another tip I'd like to say is not to just spam torches everywhere, but to actually evenly space your lighting. That way, everything looks smooth and nice. For example... Each of these has one, two, three, four, five blocks between them, each of these lamps. If I just put, like, this, and then had one over here, and, like, nothing there. Now, that's kind of weird, right? And it doesn't really match up. So, always want to make sure that you keep your things in order. What? Oh, I messed it up now. I don't know where to go. Uh, oh, there. Yeah, okay, fixed it. Now the interiors of the rooms, you're going to want to do the same thing. And since this is an even number, you're just going to want to space it from the door. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Boom! Now this room's lit up. Uh, actually, right here, you might not want any. Because if you want a bed here, you might not want to have lamps running constantly. So you can change that. I'll put some candles instead. Up here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, that was five. Okay, I was wondering if I counted that right. And then same thing in here. Now that we have these finished, we're going to want to do some uh, stuff down in the cellar. Now, I didn't actually work on this that much, so we're going to do some work on this now. Since this is the cellar, we're going to want to get some barrels to fill in so let's put a barrel stack here like that then we'll put some like up against the wall that looks all good so now that we have all the barrels we're gonna add some taps now this is me personally just experimenting I don't know if this will work or not but I'm gonna try this so we'll see if we can get a trip wire right here and then yeah these look like uh taps okay that's nice so now we have a bar we have all these things and now what we're gonna want to do is do some basic furnishings now it doesn't have to be anything fancy just something that looks kind of like a table and chairs for the bar we'll do some bar stools i don't know how to yet yeah, since the bar's kind of short i'm just gonna have the bar stools be stairs and then over here, maybe you'll have like a little booth. Tables, let's do fences for this, yeah. And then a tabletop would be trapdoors maybe? Oh yeah, these look nice, okay. For interior design, you don't want things to look too detailed, just enough to look nice. So small things like these beer taps in the back that uh, add to the environment and also just like these little chairs up at the bar counter it's real nice these tables using trap doors on top of fences is also something that you could use so now I'm gonna make a couple more boots and finish up the design on the first floor alright guys so as you can see I added a few small details such as these flower pots uh, for cups some candles and I added a lot more tables now it's time to do the upstairs so for detailing for this one i'm just gonna do a little double bed with some bedside tables some candles on them and then i might get some bookshelves as well these would be nice to have here now this room is a bit big and has some empty space so i'm gonna actually give it another table in here And boom, now we have one room. All right, guys, I just finished up all three of the rooms. Now, these are looking very nice. And so, they got some details like bookshelves, bedside tables with candles, and some, like, desks. They also got some windows as well, because, you know, you want to be able to see some sunlight. So, yeah. Uh, now, 
we're going to add a couple windows to the downstairs and that'll be it. Alright guys, and this is the final product. We added some windows, we finished up the stables where the horses can go, and of course we added some doors, made the inside look real nice, and I think this was a successful build. Oh, also we added some flowers, so it's nice. So anyways, this is the build. Thank you guys for joining me in this tutorial to build a beautiful medieval tavern slash inn. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and make sure to comment what you want me to build next.